Hey everybody and welcome back to Concept Journey, I'm André Pelais and this is episode 14. Okay, for this video I wanted to make a quick and sort of relaxed video, different for, from the other ones where I'm doing something a little bit more serious and with a topic uh, that requires a little bit more of technique to talk about. And what you are looking at, it's what I call my, my daily practice. Usually I don't do this daily practice on any kind of software. I tend to get away from computers when I'm doing those. And, but because it's easier to record, I'm doing on Mistige, a software that you are probably familiarized with by this point, because I usually I use it like pretty much for everything that's not um, hard painting. I tend to like this, this software a lot for drawing. But anyway, The point of this video, it's this kind of daily practice. Uh, ever since I decided that I wanted to get better at drawing or at sketching, I started doing this kind of stuff. Every single day, I have to draw at least one page on my sketchbook, or in this case, on Mistress. Even even today that I'm drawing on Mistress, I will do a, a page on my sketchbook as well. Um, the, the reason of that is because Even if your drawing is not good at that day, because of course that we all had bad days, the simple fact that you are forcing yourse yourself to, to draw something will create that sort of resistance and resilience that you gotta have in order to learn how to draw well. As you can see, the, the drawing itself is not, that even, is not even that important. This piece, of course, is a quick, quick sketch with only like a poorly drawn um, grid for this perspective but the, the usefulness that it brings it's for um, for creating that habit uh, in the beginning I was drawing I think what it was 15 to half an hour a day and I was already getting tired of looking at my own sketchbook and after a while it, it got like to half an hour to 45 minutes and then to one hour plus uh, sketch time. This is outside of work, of course. I usually tend to do this before doing any sort of work. This tend to relax you. Uh, the objective of this drawing, of course, is to relax, to loosen up, to get your, the hang of your arm going. Well, put your back on the, on the designing state of mind. Why am I showing you this? Well, what I want to propose is to challenge everybody that wants to get good at drawing or get good at uh, concept design to do a similar kind of stuff. Every single day you practice a little bit. It doesn't matter exactly um, what you are practicing. I mean, I am a hard surface designer, so I like to practice vehicles, I, to, I like to practice props, I like to practice weapons, I like to practice this kind of stuff. If you are a character designer, I recommend you to do character stuff, of course, or environment, environment stuff. The point is that you, you cannot give excuses for yourself. You cannot get uh, one day and say, oh no, today I'm too tired, or today I'm not uh, prepared for drawing, or I don't feel like drawing. No, the, point of the, the whole point of this, this kind of daily practice is that it doesn't matter what happens, you will draw. And that's what I want to propose to everybody that is watching this video and wants to get better at designing or drawing or basically any, anything on your, on your daily habits. So, in the note, I'm gonna leave you uh, to think about this kind of stuff and to think if you, if you would like to do this kind of daily practice as well. And that's gonna be it for today. I hope you liked this short video. Uh, the kind of message that I'm passing on this one is a little bit different from the other ones, but I hope you still like it. And if you do, don't forget to, to give this video a like and subscribe to see more in the future. Also, please don't, don't forget to share this video. It would really help me out. If you have any comments, suggestions or anything related to that topic or to my drawing, please leave them on the comment section below the video. And don't forget to follow my social media to see more of my work. I hope to see you next week. And thank you for watching.